Hi, Libra. Uh, thank you for tuning in to your February 2018 monthly general reading. Whatever comes up is what comes out. Uh, this could be love. It could be money. Uh, we'll see what it is. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Libra. Uh, thank you once again for your likes, shares, comments, subscriptions to the channel. It's all much appreciated. Let's go. All right, I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera, but I give the cards a quick shuffle, and we get started. I hope that everyone's having a really good month, Libra. All right, Page of Pentacles. Messages of stability are here. Knight of Pentacles, and then there's the offer. Three of Cups. Reconciliation, dating, celebration is here I'm even here, here in partnership maybe that's why you have these this offer coming in the ten of swords in presently presently you're at the ten of swords the queen of swords in your recent past you cut something out cut someone out Became single. The Queen of Cups moving forward. The Hierophant in your energy. The Eight of Wands. What's external to you is something moving really quickly. Four of Pentacles in the hopes and fears. You hope not to have to penny pinch, uh, be a miser, hold on to your money. The Ace of Cups in the outcome. Nice. All right, so Libra, it looks like um, there's some solid offers coming in. There's something stable coming in for you uh, and your foundation. The reason is because of maybe you're dating or you have been dating, uh, celebration and partnership. The Six of Swords and then the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords came out first. Someone's devising a plan of action, maybe behind the scenes, to move away from. What is Libra moving away from? Oh, excuse me, six, Seven of Swords, a plan of action behind the scenes, might be sneaking and doing something. Then the Six of Wands, recognition, uh, success in business and at home, Ace of Pentacles, and you got the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. Something really solid coming in for you, Libra. And it's um, something that might pull your heartstrings. It's something that, you know, um, Knight of Wands, yeah. fire sign could be coming back in love for you but in money and business and in, in home it looks really really good uh, what is this queen of cups some of some of you king of cups this is a relationship wow uh, the hierophant uh, your power maybe it's that you want to get married then, then the Knight of Cups comes out. Yeah, you want to get married. You want to take this relationship to the next level. Right now, you're at the Ten of Swords, though. What is this Ten of Swords about? The King of Wands. Some of you dealing with a fire sign. They pissed you off. They made you go into hermit mode. They hurt you really bad. You're having to have strength in even dealing with them. They keep showing back up. They keep popping up. The Eight of Wands is... What's external to you, something moving fast towards you. You don't even know it. The moon is here. You can't even see it. Um, okay, hang on. The star. Something's moving quick. That could be done with an Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. They're wanting to be single. 
right, have divorce, separation, or partnership, or wanting to chart a new path. That's what's moving towards you. You don't even you can't see it. You don't know it. You feel it, but you don't know it. Some of you are getting real spiritual downloads with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Some of you are wanting to offer partnership, something stable to a partner with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Some of y'all want to get married to either a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It looks like really good energy for those dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Those dealing with fire signs, you don't trust them. You're on guard with them. Um, some of you dealing with air signs, uh, Aquarius in particular, they are um, they are moving away from you. You might have known it. You could feel it because um, the Queen of Swords is in the past. They were like very cold, cutting. Um, let's get some bias cards. Memories, yeah, memories. You're resting in, in those memories and on those memories, but you got to come out of those memories because something is happening behind the scenes that you can't see in a marriage, in a long-term committed relationship. You don't see that uh, something's moving forward. Someone wants to offer you something solid. Some forgiveness, motivation, and leaving. Family changes. Family changes would be some of you wanting to get married. You have the motivation to do so. Somebody's coming back and asking for forgiveness with this Knight of Wands, but they're flighty. They're in and out. They hurt you really bad uh, in the past or presently. Some of you are leaving, or someone, I think this Aquarius type person, and forgiveness is here. And that's what the star is about. You need to forgive something or someone. And or the Aquarius is leaving decisions, yeah. I have decisions to make. There, there. There's not much decisions cards, but I feel like someone external to you has a decision to make. All right, Libra. So I hope that this made sense to you. If it did, please like, share, comment, reach out to me for a personal reading. Take advantage of the twenty-five dollar two question readings. Um, follow me on Instago. Reach out to me there. Ask a question or two. The handles are below. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Choose to fund the page. The fund me link is below. Uh, thank you. Thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, it looks like a really good month, especially for love, those in love. Um, take care, guys. Remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, okay? All right. Take care, guys.